A cross-section of Nigerians who have ex exercised their civic responsibilities by voting during the election says, though the process is usually stressful, it is worth it, as it gives a sense of fulfillment as a citizen. In this report, our correspondent Justin Taubioko x-rays ways of ending voter apathy. One responsibility of citizens is voting. The law does not require citizens to vote, but voting is a very important part of any democracy. By voting, citizens are participating in the democratic process, but when not, they hand over political power to views they may oppose. While some say they are not confident in the election process in the country over the years, others believe it is their right to choose who governs them, irrespective of the cumbersome voting system. It will make me feel fulfilled like a Nigerian because I voted for the person that I needed and they gave me the person. That was uh, 2011. When Gulok and uh, Buari, the first time, uh, that was nice. I voted and I enjoyed that time because it was free and fair election. Well, normally in this country, we just vote. We try our best to vote. So if you vote and it turns out negative, you try again another year. I have voted before several times. I can't count it. So, and why we are voting is because if I'm voting for somebody, I'm voting because I want the person to lead us very well. I will still continue to vote because I believe one day everything will change for good. My perception concerning our election is that our vote doesn't count. So, but I felt if you continue saying that, we won't go anywhere. So I decided to like go out and then cast my vote for who I voted for. Political analyst Professor Sani Fege shared his voting experience, which he believes has been worthwhile. He spoke alongside Babatunde Ola Ulua, who is an executive member of the All Progressives Congress in Lagos State. My first time of voting was uh, in the Saka Republic. That was uh, 1979 uh, when I was um, a graduate assistant. Um, at that time, there wasn't much hustle in terms of uh, voter registration. It was uh, a, a quite uh, a range, okay system. The process was smooth and the people were elected, we were well educated in terms of what uh, it was expected of us as uh, voters. Uh, the political parties campaigned vigorously to enlighten the electorate. I had voting for the first time occurred in 1983 during the UPN days. And in those days, there was a sense of fulfillment. In fact, before the day uh, came up, you will be yearning for it because it, it was a performing government. It was a government that had direction. And because it impacted positively on the people, particularly those of us who were younger ones, are still going through our education then, uh, we wanted that government to continue in office. Fegi and Babatunde share the same opinion. Nigerians must not trivialize their civic responsibility. The fate of the country uh, today and in the future is in their hands because democracy has given us the opportunity to shape uh, the how things will go. Uh, in terms of politics and governance. All of us put together need to talk to ourselves. The kind of orientation that is injected into the youth at these days about voting is not encouraging. And I think something needs to be done to ensure that we have every individual of voting age to vote at every election so that the government put in place will be the government of the people. Recently, the renowned clergy pastor Enoch Adeboye charged his congregation to ensure they all participate in the next elections as it's their right. Before you became a Christian, you are in Nigeria. You have a duty to your country to register, to vote, to make sure that your vote will count. You have a duty to belong to any party of your choice at the very grassroots. You can't sit down, fold your hands, 
refuse to vote and they begin to complain about the government. Perhaps this is a clarion call to all Nigerians, including human rights activists, the mass media and even political parties to begin engaging the people in voter education. With many big names aspiring to lead, especially from Asuro, 2023 election may just be a game changer for eligible voters. Jacinta Obuku, Plus TV News. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.